Hello, my name is Camille Jones, and I am the founder of We Got This Mind and Body. And I'm all about encouraging us busy entrepreneurs to learn to live a more wellness lifestyle through key areas of wellness, such as your mindset, movement, metabolism, and maintenance. It's truly about loving the skin that you are in in every single season of life. Now, I am here to discuss and talk with you the power of loving yourself through discovering and embodying your voice. What I always say is there is a wellness hero within all of us. All of us de are deserving of everything that we desire, both internally and physically. But throughout our life's journey, we get tested. We get tested by other people's opinions, we get tested by ourselves comparing our own selves to who we were 20 years ago or trying to keep up with the social media Joneses. And I am here on a mission as a personal certified trainer, a holistic nutritionist and transformational coach to, to educate us all to understand that true wellness is not just about nutrition and working out. It truly is about loving the skin that you are in. No longer are we going to be coming into wellness because we dislike something about us. We approach wellness because we love ourselves so very much that we want to nourish it with all the things that we know we need for our own authentic bodies so that we could flourish in life. Because as I always say, it's no longer about mm -hmm. being there for everybody else. It's about putting you first so that you can be even stronger and more present with more energy, confidence, and courage. Now, how do we discover that wellness hero within? Through understanding that real true superheroes is not about having supernatural abilities, but it's about harnessing your voice, discovering and revealing that through the practices that I do, which is understanding the power of the voice. We will be able to be more confident, have a clearer vision of what our overall wellness goals are, and most importantly, to take the actions and maintain them as well. We need to not only just be motivated, we not only need to be inspired also, we need to build up that muscle of discipline, grit, as well as focus. And that's how we create lasting habits when it comes to our wellness. Because wellness is not a one size fits all, nor does it get completed in 30 days. Because I always say, when you hear somebody say, lose 30 pounds in 30 days, that's great. But what happens on day 35 or day 65? And what if it doesn't align with my lifestyle? How does that make my mindset feel? It, makes, it may make me feel like a, failure or I'm going back and yo-yoing. I'm not putting a true definitive purpose behind my actions of my wellness. But when we discover that wellness hero within through the power of our voice, we will be able to do the things that we know we need to do to be and have all that we desire. So I'm going to talk to you today about discovering your superpower, which is your voice. And what I call in my program, it's called Because I Have a Voice. Now, the word voice is an acronym for what my steps. And within these, this acronym, there are actionable tools that, you, that take place that lead into the other. That by the end, when we get to the E, we will have a deeper understanding, a greater clarity on what your true wellness goals are. Because a lot of us come in, I always say eyes tell lies. We think that we're going in because of you know, something we dislike about our physical. But when we truly understand wellness, we'll understand that we will leave getting a deeper understanding of thyself. That self-awareness is what's key. That self-awareness is what builds up the habits. That self-awareness is what builds up that grit. And we know what? Yes, we could do it on our own, but accountability is key because life has a thing called distraction as well as other people's opinions that sometimes, you know, make us go off on the wayside. So let's get into, because I have a voice. 
And how I discovered it was through my own voice. And you know what, I need to share the screen. <laughs> There we go. Okay, so we are just, this is just a little bit about me. As we know, I, I'm a certified personal trainer and nutritionist, but let's talk about you. I always say it's not about you, it's not about me, it truly is about we. And when we collectively have these discussions, we'll be able to even empower each other. So before we get started, I like to talk about a little fun facts about me is I birthed three children, I raised four, taught in Jamaica, and I am a carnivalist at heart. And I'm here to bring back humanity through self-love and self-care. Now, what does love in the skin that, you, that you're in have to do with wellness and discovering that hero within? Let's look at that word voice. V is visualization. We need to visualize the person that we want to become. Not even visualize it, we need to be that person. And in that visualization, you're going to know what you're already dressed and you visualize who are you destined to be? Does she watch the same things that you watch? Does she eat the same thing? Does she look at, envision it, really visualize who you are becoming. And this is an activity that I like to do to really Build, bring out that vision, visualization practice within you. Imagine yourself one year from now. What have you accomplished in this new person? What does that look like for you? And the moments, go on in. Just move this there. Well, yeah, take a few moments and really look at that. I know that this is something that we could do on the side. So when you write that V, take this time to imagine yourself one year from now and what you've accomplished now that you've taken action on the things that you desire. What does it really look like? Embody it. Anytime you're doing anything with visualization, you have to get into that feeling. You have to get into that heart set. The mindset will guide us, but it also will tell lies to us because of our fight and flight. But our heart is our GPS because that is our intuition, our compassion, our creativity. It is everything that embodies the feelings that we have and the desires that we build within ourselves. And we need to align the two to get a deeper understanding of knowing thyself as well as what you truly desire to be. So this is something that I do with my clients. Now take a step back and think about what are the things that we need to do now to get into that reality. And another thing that I like to do is you can also write what would, what would life look like if you decided to do nothing. That's another one step further. If you really are stuck in yourself, what is that being stuck gonna accomplish one year from now? So you can do two. And it really does paint a deeper picture for you. The O stands for observing your thoughts. Now, when we have full understanding and control of our thoughts, that critical thinking, we'll be aware of the times that our mindset may try to tell us a limiting belief. Our mindset might give us that fear of remember when, and it's not that our mindset wants to see us fail. It doesn't know anything about failing and succeeding. It just knows of survival and always finding that easy way out in that comfort zone. But when you have the ability to sit back and observe your own thoughts, challenge your own self, you will be able to make even better actionable steps and beat yourself on that procrastination bug. Because a lot of times our mindset has an ancient mind. And it's going to tell us all of the things in the past that we shouldn't do. But there's another portion of our mindset that is our mastery mindset. And when you're able to tap into that, observing what you're thinking, question what you're thinking, is it aligning with what you visualize in yourself? Or is it not? And why are we focusing on something that is not? So as I say, pay attention to your thoughts that come up. Don't even try to control them. Don't judge them. Just observe how they flow in. And as they flow in, observe the environment that you're in as these thoughts come to you. Because a lot of times people don't realize that wellness also includes your environment. What we even think of, what we perceive, what we see around us. Allow it to come in and observe them. Go back to that feeling. How does it make you feel? Observe your thoughts. After a few minutes of observing your thoughts, 
take note of any recurring negative self-limiting beliefs. Like how many times have you think to yourself, oh, I'm not good enough. Oh, this is silly. Anything negative, think about it. Put some thought into it. And take that page of observed thoughts that you've written. And on the opposite side, flip it. Anything that was negative that you wrote, like I am not good enough. I don't even flip it. Put it on another page and write the opposite. I am enough. I'm not able. I am able. I can. Yes, I can. And I will. Now that worst, instead of putting it side by side, what I like to do now is that worst case scenario, those are lies. And how we prove that they're lies is because you counter them and get into the feeling of the positive and say to yourself, hmm, you know what? I understand my thoughts are here like this, not because it doesn't want me to succeed. It's a warning. And I thank you for that warning. But I see the ladder. I see the mastery in myself. And I'm going to go here. So we rip up that paper. That paper, that those limiting beliefs are no longer a part of me. We are bringing out that hero within you. Tear up that paper. We don't need it. It means nothing. In everything we do, take that deep breath to get back down to center. You want that wellness? Understand that breath. Understand your thoughts and visualize. Now, another thing that I like to do is really writing to myself. Within this program, I encourage ourselves to write to our past selves, sharing advice and encouragement, embracing self-love. What would you say to yourself? Write yourself that letter. You are worth it. You're worth every single word and time it takes you to write this love letter to you, this past one, to your past self. And I think I went way past my notes. That's what I did, because I thought so, because I was like, wait, I need that one. So we're just gonna go back here. Put this one button here. Okay, so let's go to I. That was a little bit, but I am always about taking a deep breath in between. I is intention. When we live a life of intention, we know where we're going, we know where we need to be in, and we also know what we're looking for when we're in this environment. We're not no longer living this mundane life, just existing. You know, there's that saying by Benjamin Franklin that, you know, so many people die at age 25 and only get buried at 75. And it's because they're living that mundane life. They don't even know what they're doing right now. There's no intention behind anything. As much as even when it comes to our fitness, the intention saying that you're doing it because of a vacation or summer, that's not a real intention. That's a moment. So write down three of your top goals. And this is where, yeah, I know we've all heard about them, the SMART goals, but you're gonna put them into your wellness. Next to one goal, write down why it's important to you. Again, it's getting into that feeling. Feel it every time you're writing it. And if, you doesn't, if it does not hit you, that is not wellness. And it's not something that is of a goal right here and right now. And it's not going to go to what bit, what you envision. So let's just fast forward a little bit more because we're going out of time. Is C. Now with C, there's two C's for me, which is courage and confidence. It goes hand in hand. Because when you develop the courage to understand that your authenticity, your uniqueness, your own self-power is your superpower, you will get that courage to stand up and stand tall and build that confidence to walk in your own excellence. Confidence is key. Not what you're wearing, not the size that you are, but when you walk with that courage and confidence, everybody wants to be around you. There is key to it. We see it in all in, in, so in media itself. Now it's time to see it in yourself. And if you don't see it, go into a mirror and you know that 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 uh strong strong pose that superwoman pose you stand there and say i am strong i am brave you put your i ands because it is about building that courage to stand in your confidence self you got this another way that you can really test your confidence is think of a situation where you feel like you could have used more confidence a great way is in a conversation with somebody that you need to have but you've been putting off because you have those limiting beliefs that, oh, that person's not going to talk to me anymore. Oh, this is going to happen. All these negative scenarios come in. Well, I challenge you to get that courage to have these conversations. You need to risk you know, having that confidence in yourself. Now, 
Also, if you are still stuck, a great way is to write down what's gonna hold, what's holding you back. Are you failing? Are you ups, Are you scared that they're gonna be upset at you? That they're not gonna like you? And how is that going to affect your overall lifestyle? Write it down, because a lot of times when we write it down, we realize it's actually not as bad as I thought it was. There's power in the pen. Now, E, I love this one. This is my favorite one. This is emancipate. Emancipate yourselves from mental slavery. None but ourselves can be our mind. Like my singing, right? <laughs> well, that is from the late, great Bob Marley for the song, from their song, Redemption Song. And it truly is an, a, a, it is so powerful when you understand that once we are able to emancipate ourselves from all of our doubts, from all of our fear, from all of our looking at ourselves and being negative, thinking that wellness, I'm going to feel better if I go to the gym, if I work out, if I do my diet, if I do my drinks, I will do it short. But ending up nothing else changes. It's because you haven't emancipated this. And that's why when I talk about wellness, I talk about our voice because I want us all to free our minds, free our minds so that we can be all that we are destined to be in our own authentic way. And when we do that, just like we have a rose that hasn't but hasn't bloomed yet, we're going to sing to it. We're going to pour water on it. We're going to love into it. We're going to give it water so we can watch it bloom and see its essence. And when you emancipate your mind from anything else that has ever held you back, you become that bloomed, that rose that has bloomed. You stand there tall. You stand there in your glory and your excellence and you do the work that you know you need to do to keep that feeling there. So when I talk about wellness, it's not just about nutrition and fitness. It's about getting into that feeling, your unique feeling, loving the skin that you're in, celebrating your journey, visualizing who you are becoming. Every day we're becoming somebody new because we weren't that yesterday observing those thoughts observe your own thoughts not the thoughts of other people that is here nor there observe the thoughts that you say to yourself have intention that i intention in everything that you do don't just do it for a moment because that's what happens it becomes a moment and when we don't realize it was a moment we call it a failure and then we don't do anything have the courage to build up that confidence to know that you got this because there's 8 billion people in this entire world, but there's only one you. So who are we really competing against? It's you versus you, baby. Stand there in your confidence. And when you emancipate your own mental slavery, when you're able to understand that your mindset is a beautiful gift of God, from God, we're the only creatures in this entire world that have the ability to have the compassion, to have laughter. Have you ever seen anything? I guess a hyena, but that's not even real laughs. We're the only creatures that can laugh at a joke. That's a beautiful thank you. We have compassion, creativity, innovation. Stop, look at all this beauty. Stop, let's not focus on the other unseen parts of us, which is that fear, pessimist, procrastination. Yes, we have that, but we don't put focus on that because we've emancipated ourselves from those beliefs and those thoughts. And we're gonna focus on the things that elevate us by being in environments such as this one. It may feel impossible, but we're on a mission to build back up humanity in all areas of our life, in wellness, in our business, in our relationships, in ourselves. Now, when I say this, I'm going to leave you with this because this is my new mantra and it really hit me. It hit me hard. It still gives me shivers when I say this. We all are heroes within us. The hero wellness and what that is, is I always say, I am a superhero. I save lives because I saved my life first. Put you first. This is Camille from We Got This Mind and Body. It's not about you. It's not about me. It truly is about we. You got this. We got this. Now let's go and discover the power of our voice and reveal that superhero wellness within us. Thank you.